Alright guys, welcome to my Get Access walkthrough tutorial. Um, mostly learning experience because when I first played this game it was a little bit difficult and I couldn't really find uh, proper help because even in the walkthroughs it was just just people doing stuff and you didn't really know why. Uh, mostly like speed running and stuff like that. Uh, don't be alarmed if you hear a baby in the background. Uh, that's my kid. Alright, so to get started, um, I want you to do this and look at... This is basically your... I don't know, your game plan. You want to build the engine to go in the car. That's it. Uh, I really like that. It's a DeLorean basically a time machine. I want to see them do another game with something connecting it, because right now it's just the building of the DeLorean, but I think it's really cool, because I love Back to the Future. Don't really know what those little buttons are for. I don't think that that is a, a thing that we ever learn. Alright, so first, I grab that crowbar. And this little desk space right here is going to be where you build your engine. I already bought the tool, so let's go ahead and get that. Okay. Now, I don't think it'll let me pick it up now. It might. No. The valve. Oh, uh, there's some valves hiding around, and uh, you, you have to go this way. I guess you have to go there first. There's some things that you you know that you're supposed to pick up. Like you're just like, yeah, I definitely need that. Um, that I saw the first time I played through the game, and it wouldn't let me pick some stuff up, so I, I got confused. I guess you have to uh, wait. Okay, so this one, this one you kind of have to figure out on your own. It's basically just a pipe game. Uh, basically, it's just like a pipe building game. Um, I'm sure everybody's done these like a hundred million times. Um, it's not super difficult. It's just a little tedious. There's the blue. There's the yellow. There's the green. There's the red. There we go. All done. Alright. So, the door code is going to be on the bulletin board in the garage. So, we'll go back and look at it. Uh, this little bar graph right here on the right side, uh, I basically did big, medium big, small, medium, uh, and that'll be the code for the door to get into the basement, so, big, medium, big, little, yeah. and now we can collect all of the valves that we need. This one. Can I not grab the side? No, I can't grab the side yet. So, with that, now we can go into the bar. Alright. So, 
in here. There's a valve and a lamp. Well, I guess it's a light bulb. Whatever. Now, we already got the game controller for that. Um, I suck at that game, so we're not going to play that. That's the key to the garage. So it doesn't need a key. Alright, so... Bartender wants you to collect the glasses. There's another glass. Oh, and I have to give him the glasses first. Give the glass, give the glass, give the glass, 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 and one more glass. Look at that. And he's going to give me a key to his room. Here we go. First, I'm going to check out the garage. Let's get my car. All right, we're gonna grab this book. Nope, can I? Ugh. Can't. We gotta go into the bartender's room first. Hey, bud. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I'm having fun. 102 room key. Put it in that drawer. Oh, yeah. All right, into this game. Up. Basically, the little square in the bottom left resets your progress. You go right back to the very first map. But you get a key. And guess what it goes to? This little drawer. Yay! Excuse me, I'm sniffling. I'm kind of getting real sick. So there's a valve. I don't think we can do anything else in here right now, but I'm coming back for that book. And then I'm gonna go get the wheel and go back and put it on there too, so let's go. Open the door. Let's go ahead and open that door too, just so we can start. Alright, that's bartender's room. Here's the drip tester. Um, I don't if you'll you'll notice these when you play. Don't really know what they are. It's just garbage that you can pick up and look at. It's got a little face on it. A little advertising flyer. And I wanna know what they're advertising. It's cute. They're all different colors too. I think the detail put into this game is really cool. your book, your bowls, your test. And there is a piece to my car. Look at that. All right. Now let's go back to the basement. and do the light. We don't need it yet, but I don't need to my inventory anymore. This is going to give us the proper uh, order to turn all of the valves when we get them. It also gives us the door code 2904. I'm going to grab the wheel and go back to the garage. Grab that.
now we can get the book. Oh, gross. Ugh, nasty. Oh, wait. Since we're here, oops. Since we're here, basically, just move all the bottles to this little square. It gives you that. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Sometimes I get confused and I don't know which door I should be going through. Alright, this one, I hate it because I can never find, like, the, I think it's the 13. Um, I always get trapped up on the 13, somewhere in the 20s. I don't know. Oh, I can't ever find the 11, too. That's one of them. Oh, there's the 11. That's not right. Eleven. Twelve. I know thirteen is on the side for some dumb reason. Is it? Oh, it's on the very bottom. I don't know why they did that. I guess I did it on purpose to mess with you. Ah. I can never speed run this. I get tripped up on these damn boxes. Five, 
there's literally only so many. <laughs> Also, that's the room number is 588. This little circle thing with the arrow 213132. And then the colors, I think, don't ever change. So yellow, red, green, yellow, blue, red. Okay. Box moves for literally. Uh, this little calculator thing doesn't do anything. Light, random, dolly, just cool little animation. Yeah, it's cute. Doesn't really do anything of consequence. Uh, these are just, just says old machines with duct tape. So, I don't know if this is, if this is like a clue or anything, because I don't really, the room, uh, just tell you when we get there. It's a little complicated. All right, let's fix the lift. Hey, bud. All right, this one doesn't really have an exact answer, but this is plus one, and this is plus ten, and then it's times one. So I just did like 40 oh that's too much oh, I think it's I think it's three three and three yeah there you go so now the lift works and then uh, I don't remember either of the room codes but that's fine I think it's uh shit we'll just go back in there four six three five So turn it to this side, because this is the only side you're really going to need. Alright. Right switch. And two, one, three, one, three, two. The switch the, uh, to the front. So this thing is two on each side. You only need that one. And then it's yellow, red, green, yellow. Hit them in the order that they came up. So one, two, three, this way, and then one, two, three, that way. And turn around. This one took me a while. Uh, it's basically just hitting them all in the right order. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, done. And then we get a car part. Woo! Look at that. Now we have three car parts, one valve, a book, and a access key card. Can you not chew on that spoon? I was supposed to eat ice cream with that spoon. Why are you covered in hair? I guess you are laying on daddy's side of the bed. <laughs> Do you want that? You should take it and you should Roll this way. <laughs> There's your keys. Keys, keys, keys. You should be taking a nap. We just went on a long walk. Excuse me. Alright, what was I doing? Oh, okay, let's get to the book puzzle real quick. Because this is fun. Book. And then I think that's one.
Minecraft creeper face. I feel like there's lots of Easter eggs in this game. All right, so I can never remember this, so I think I'm gonna write it down this time. Uh. Okay. So, A3, B2, C3, C4, and D2. Alright, here we go. Oh, I didn't mean to send that text. Ooh, somebody's about to be very confused. Okay. Uh. Okay. And I think that that's it for this room. Oh, wait. Nope. Part of a room code. So there's a seven. So it's 763, and then on the inside of the safe, there's another code. So let's go over the safe. I think, did we open the safe yet? I don't think we opened the safe yet. Okay. Alright, so on the bottom, on the floor, uh, right there, there's a little thing, a little symbol, and it's got three dots on the bottom. If you look up on the left side of the room, up towards the bottles on the side of the shelf, there's another symbol, and it says one. On the side of this barrel right here, on this little stack of wood barrels, there's another symbol that says two. If you go to the safe down here. by far the hardest one to do. So it took me two gameplays to figure it out. So you put your access key in. Uh, this little number right here is gonna tell you how many uh, spaces you can move. Obviously each access key gives you four spaces and that adds. So the first one, uh, from where you are, you're going to go up one and to the left three times. So you're basically forward, left, 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 and bottom. I'm just going to take you to an artifact. You're going to open the door. You're going to get a key. You're going to put the next access key in, and it's going to give you more. So back up all of what you just did. And go back and look. Uh, go up, left, left, up. 
see where it takes you. Okay, and I'm gonna go up two more times. See where that takes me. I don't think I'm going anywhere. So, we're gonna go back. And I'm gonna go right. <coughs> Look at that. Okay, up, up, left, left, down. So, up, up, left, left, down. Nope. Okay. What? Oh, did I go the wrong way? I meant to go right. My bad. Oops. Oh, no. Man, this thing is difficult sometimes. Alright. Back, back, back. Right, right, back. left, left, forward.
no way to get in there. I don't think I can, I think that that, I think I was right about that being the very last one. I don't think that I can reach that one. I don't know. stupid. I'm stupid. What did I do? Did I forget? Jesus. That's 
Remember all those numbers on the bartender's computer that I said that I would not remember? Well, here's the thing. Here it is. The first row uh, from left to right is A. The last row is B. The middle, like the third row is C. Yeah, so it's A at the top, D, C, B. And the other way, it's the columns are 1, 3, 5, 4, and 2. So, um, and if you want to know how I got that, how I know that, if you go back to the workshop and you look at the bulletin board, there is on the very bottom corner, get that sock out of your mouth, on the very bottom corner to the, to the bottom, uh, the bottom right, it tells you which way and yeah. So A3 is gonna be here. B2 
Again, on the bulletin board, I don't the exact code, there you go, two, one, three, on the bulletin board in the very top right, right here, on that same keypad that we just discovered how it worked, there's another, there is a small little blocked out section that will be, this will be the code when we get the fuel cell. First. stuff in there. There's like little aliens in there. Weird little aliens back there. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. So. Go down here. Get the flask. Put that in there. Back out. Take the flask. Put it in the sink. Lovely time. Thank you for watching. I love this game. It's very nice, very retro. Uh, it makes my 90s kid heart happy.